Well, we're heading back into some real swimming weather now, Henry. Yeah, absolutely. Not necessarily for tomorrow, but as we go into Sunday and the first half of the next work week, yeah, definitely looking at 90s, maybe a few triple digits for some, and I'll show you who in just a second. But for now, we're mostly in the upper 70s and low 80s. The wind, not a problem. And like yesterday, where we had those 40 mile per hour gusts, that north wind now is anywhere between 5 and 10 miles per hour and will remain light for the rest of your evening and overnight. Going to notice that we are going to be eventually falling into the 60s after sunset, but it's going to be a great evening and no need to worry about any type of severe weather here at home. But that's not the case for, um, once again, Kansas, Colorado with severe thunderstorm watches, severe storms um, just near Atlanta, strong storms pushing south and eastward, and then the Ohio River Valley picking up on a line of severe storms as well, but the weather is quite pleasant here across the northern plains and is expected to remain that way at least for the next 24 to 48 hours. We'll be waking up to temperatures in the 50s once again, maybe a little bit of cloud cover for some, but overall a rather sunny Friday and a great end to your work week and a great way to kick off the start of the 2023 North Dakota State Fair. Time for your Blakes on the Lakes forecast for the boaters going out. If you're going out for tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday for the Missouri River and Bismarck, looking at low 80s for tomorrow, upper 80s for Saturday with a light northwest wind, and then the 90s start to kick in for Sunday, not just for um, Bismarck, but also Long Lake near Moffitt. We're talking about low 80s for you, mid 80s for Saturday and low 90s for Sunday with the wind becoming south. Similar conditions expected for Lake Shida. So if you're going to be out on the water, tomorrow's going to be great. Not too bad for Saturday, but Sunday through, let's say next Thursday, many of us are going to um, need a bit of hydration and anything we can to keep cool for the moment with those 90s. Look at Sunday's forecast, upper 90s and maybe triple digits for Montana. Elsewhere, we're going to be dealing with um, 90s and notice that triple digit threat potentially makes its way into parts of far western and southwestern North Dakota for your Monday as well as Tuesday. Maybe it's some upper 90s trying to creep or sneak their way into central North Dakota. A little bit of relief for Montana on Wednesday. Instead of upper 90s and triple digits, you'll likely be in the low 90s. But notice we started to see some of that across the James and Red River Valley. So just giving you a heads up on the heat that's to come. But tomorrow's looking absolutely stunning and gorgeous. We just have to make it a few days. Yes, I know it's going to be about four or five days of 90s, maybe six for some. That's not much because remember, um, residents across the south, especially the southwest um, places. I, um, I got to check to see, but um, one, one spot didn't even get out of the hundreds. That was their low, <laughs> so it could All be right. much worse. Well, hey, we're still going to feel it. That's for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm.